Hey, welcome to Two Minutes Pi. What are decorators in Python? Decorators in Python are designed to add extra functionality to the functions or methods without directly modifying their source code. Let's say we have a basic function like this. Now imagine we want to add some extra functionality to this function, like logging each time it's called. This is where decorators come in handy. We can define a decorator as a function that takes another function as an argument, adds some functionality, and then returns the modified function. In this example, log underscore function is our decorator. It takes a function func as input, defines a nested function wrapper to add logging functionality, and finally returns wrapper. Now let's apply this decorator to our say underscore hello function. By simply placing at log underscore function above our function definition, we're telling Python to apply the log underscore function decorator to say underscore hello function. When we call the say underscore hello function now, we get our greeting along with the log message, indicating that the function was called. How did that happen? How does simply decorating the log underscore function above the say underscore hello function change its functionality? Let's see this part of the code. The code is equivalent to this code. See how we passed the say underscore hello function to the log underscore function. After this line executes, the name say underscore hello points to the wrapper nested function returned by log underscore function. The wrapper function has a reference to the original say underscore hello function as func, and it calls this function within its own body to maintain the original functionality while adding extra behavior. You can conclude that at log underscore function is a shorter way of saying this. This is the convention you should follow to decorate a particular function. You can decorate a function with multiple decorators also. Let me show you. Here we have two decorator functions, square and sum. Next, you'll notice that we have two normal functions, test underscore one and test underscore two. Here are two scenarios. Above the test underscore one function, the sum is decorated first, followed by the square, and above the test underscore two function, the square is decorated first, then the sum. When you run this code, you'll get this output. This will make it clear why we received this output. If you want to see if it works or not, simply do this and you will get the same result. So to wrap up, decorators are a powerful tool in Python for adding functionality to functions or methods without modifying their source code directly. By understanding how decorators work, you can write cleaner, more modular code, and leverage the full potential of Python's dynamic nature.